We're in the airport and we just came out from passport control and we're getting ready to go to Marrakesh in Morocco. And what continent is Morocco in? Um, it's in Africa. And it's our first time, all four of us going to Africa. Are you excited? Yes, and it's, this is Emma and I's third com continent. Mom, what, how much is yours? Uh, my fourth continent. And it is my dad's fifth. Morocco is located in the northwest corner of Africa and is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Algeria and Western Sahara are the land borders to the south and east. Morocco is about the same size as California. We just checked into our incredible Riyadh. The girls get these two beds over here. There's the bathroom. Here is our closet. And then over here is where Greg and I are sleeping. What are your first impressions of Marrakesh, Morocco? The airport was nice. Uh, it was busy. Uh, but I guess uh, this month it's very, very busy is what the, the people said. Um, traffic's a bit chaotic. <laughs> so uh, I guess it, it's the weekend. People come into Marrakesh. It was very, very busy. Um, and then we got dropped off. We had to wait. Uh, for the host to come get us because it's quite a confusing path uh, to get um, here but apparently that's part of the fun of being here in the city is you can sort of wander and get lost so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the, the Riyadh that we're staying in is incredibly beautiful. Um, I love the style. Very very beautiful uh, in terms of like the furnishings and the decor and stuff so uh, I'm hungry but uh, we'll eat and then we'll get some sleep and uh, explore tomorrow so I'm looking forward to it. Think of the traditional tachin dish. Uh, it's it's pretty good. Um, it's, it's I think it's been cooking all day. The, the meat is super tender. Uh, it came with some dates. I, I think they're dates. I've never had one, so I'm gonna give one a try. Um, the bread is excellent, and then also we got these like I don't know how to call them. I forget what they're called, but yeah. they're the, so, a, a traditional uh, starter dish. pastry. It's it's almost like a spring roll, or a, it's delicious. So so far so good. Super happy. Good morning from Marrakesh, Morocco, and now we're at breakfast, and one interesting fact is they consider using your left hand to be dirty because it's saved for dirty chores, um, and I'm a lefty, so I'm having a real hard time eating with my right hand, Dirty, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. After a good night's sleep in our Riyadh, we headed out to the Orica Valley in the Atlas Mountains. We booked a private tour with Get Your Guide. Our tour consisted of camel riding, seeing a pottery, visiting an Argonne oil cooperative, hiking with a Berber guide in Sedi Fatma, a delicious lunch along the river, and a stop at a tapestry collective. It was a great day and we were definitely exhausted by the end. How do you guys like the ride so far? Um, I'm a bit nervous. You're doing great. I've really not been on camel while. <laughs> Craigie, what do you think? It's fun. Super fun. It's uh, soothing once you kind of get into the groove of it. It is, yes. It's soothing when you get <laughs> This is more than 560 million years. Wow. This is the real bite.
have this is like a traditional mill and it works only by the pressure of water. The reason why, because in the bottom here, we have like a metal turbine that it's connected with the stone. So when the water pushes the turbine, the stone turns simultaneously at the same time. It okay. turns only by the pressure of water. Like a traditional sauna. Yeah. Inside of it, there is a metal bucket with falling water. Oh. And we burn the wood from here and it gives you steam inside. And this we use it once a week, just okay. Friday before the fry. It's like a steam bath for making the deep clean. A baby monkey in the trees <laughs> and they come to steal the bread from the restaurant they're so cute okay so we are currently hiking in the atlas mountains and we're at satmi fatma which is the area that has seven waterfalls and they're supposed to be incredible. Um, I chickened out before the first one but I got a sneak preview of a lot of the beautiful waterfalls down here and the girls and Greg went up to the top. The Atlas Mountains are also nicknamed the gateway to the Sahara because on the other side is the Sahara Desert. There they are on top of that rock lining up for a picture. They made it back down and now they just have to come down this crazy steep part right there. Alright, we finally finished the hike. How was it? It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a little, little steep, a little rocky, um, slippery at some parts. A tad bit busy, but uh, I was talking to our guide and he said it's not even close to busy. Um, he said there's other times of the year where it's just filled with people, tons of traffic, takes like three hours to get back to Marrakesh from here. That's crazy. Um, in the summertime, a lot of the locals come out here from Marrakesh because it's much cooler uh, and the water is certainly cold, but it's really, really cool. Okay, that is a wrap on our fabulous day trip with Yasser, the driver. We're gonna go out and have some dinner and explore some more. That'll be on the next vlog, so we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching.